What's up guys? Welcome in the video. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to build a racing drone. So, I will show you what are the components that you require to build it. So first of all, you will need a racing drone frame. I have here is a UAV 250, a power distribution board. I have the Aviving original ESCs of Frontier. It is better you have as small as possible. Also require motors. These are 2300 kV 3 cell, 22 GF5 brushless motors. The silver tops motor are anti clockwise motors, and black top motors are clockwise motors. So you need two clockwise and two anti clockwise motors. We have very limited space in our room, so we use as small as flight controller possible. So this is CC 3D board. Others we also require two pillars, double sided tape, uh, and zip ties, and so on. Oh sorry, I forgot to mention. You also require a transmitter and a receiver. Let's begin our build. Now I will unbox the ESC. Let's see what's inside this packet. These are two bottom plates. We have some of the spacers, large screws, two of our arms, and small screws. These are small landing gears which will fit. Here, yeah. see, it says how you should actually place. Right. If you want to purchase this product, I will provide the link in video description. First, we should attach our motor to the arms. So, let's do it. Here are four motors connected to their arms. After you do this process, we have to move on to the next level. As this is the anti-clockwise motor, I do the connection as I showed you in the diagram. So follow it. So it is complete. Now it's time. Or the clockwise mode. Before we placed our AC like this, but now we will turn it around and do same the first one to first one, second one to second, third one to third one, and in the last we will rotate it so that this part will remain in the upside and the air from our propellers will put it down. Our forms it's ready. So now we have to do what about power distribution board. So let's do it. The thing that came with our power distribution board is male T connector spring tube and this plus and minus silicon wire. I will connect it to this. This is a male connector. You also need this battery. So, while you connect, you should notice which one is the positive and which one is the negative terminal. So, when I push it like this, this one is the positive terminal and this one is the negative terminal. We have already soldered the wires in the T connector. Now it's time to connect it to the power distribution board. While my soldering iron is getting hot, I will quickly use my uh, aluminium dispenser to one of my bottom plates. Now, let's 
soldered this wire, you need to power distribution. So before soldering the, the power distribution board, we have to fill the patch with a lot of solder. I will place my power distribution board over here. So I should cut this much, uh, this much of the wire. We have to apply the flux to the wires. Fill them with the solder. Also, need two extra wires. So now, let's paste it on our frame. As these ESCs are of the ESCs, they don't have red wire between them, so they can not power our flight controller. We need something external to power our flight controller. So here I have a buck converter. It convert 12 volt from our battery pack to the 5 volt which our flight controller accepts. So. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that notification icon so that you never miss any of my videos.